Today, March 15th, we celebrate the feast day of St. Louise de Marillac. Louise was a young widow who lived in Paris at the same time as Vincent de Paul. She belonged to the nobility, but her experience of personal rejection by her family as a child, born outside of marriage, made her particularly sensitive to the suffering of others. Vincent sought her help in organizing the confraternities of charity and in responding to the needs of people who are stricken by poverty, famine and war. Born in France, Louise lost her mother when she was still a child, her beloved father when she was but 15. Her desire to become a nun was discouraged by her confessor and a marriage was arranged. One son was born of this union, but Louise soon found herself nursing her beloved husband through a long illness that finally led to his death. Louise was fortunate to have a wise and sympathetic counsellor, Francis de Sales. But from an interior illumination, she understood that she was to undertake a great work under the guidance of another person she had not yet met. This was the holy priest Vincent, later to be known as Saint Vincent de Paul. At first, he was reluctant to be her confessor, busy as he was with his confraternities of charity. Only over a long period of time, as Vincent de Paul became more acquainted with Louise, did he come to realize that she was the answer to his prayers. She was intelligent, self-effacing, and had physical strength and endurance that belied her continuing feeble health. Louise had a profound conviction of God's love for her and for his people. This love urged her to bring her extraordinary administrative ability to the relief of every kind of human suffering. Together with Vincent, who became her lifelong friend and collaborator, she founded the Daughters of Charity. The missions he sent her on eventually led to four simple young women joining her. These were the first sisters of the Company of the Daughters of Charity founded when Louise was 44 years old. These were soon nursing the sick, poor in their homes and in hospitals, as well as taking care of older people and abandoned children. They also went into the prisons to bring food and medicine and a word of comfort to the galley slaves and they even went on to the battlefields to nurse the wounded soldiers. Louise promoted free education for girls, the rehabilitation of psychiatric patients and the distribution of tools and seeds and other means of livelihood to war refugees. St. Louise went on to build and develop over 40 houses of the Company of the Daughters of Charity throughout Paris and then extending throughout France. St. Louise continued her work and direction of her sisters until the day of her death at age 68. She was canonized by Pope Pius on the 11th of 1934. St. Louise de Marillac, pray for us.